this is one of the more fascinating sites from ancient America that I've read about and all this learning pretty much has come in the last 24 hours and I was pretty fascinated, pretty horrified. We're going to go down to Detroit, Michigan, look at some truly lost history here. We are going down to one of the most important sites of ancient America. Not a trace left of it today. Here we are down on Google Earth, just off Jefferson Avenue up here. And in this exact area, a couple thousand years ago, there was a great earthen pyramid here. And it stretched over into this parking lot over here. Today, nothing remains. And this pyramid came out into this area. It was over two football fields long. But this is the site in the Del Rey neighborhood in Detroit, where a massive earthen pyramid once stood. And it wasn't alone. And this is one area that is built right over the remains, more than likely, of many skeletons from this lost race, this mound builders group, or whatever you want to call it, I believe today still remains are right under the earth here. Now here is that area from overhead where this earthen pyramid once stood. It was right in the middle of the screen here, just off of Jefferson Avenue. And this is the Rouge River here. Now I will leave a few links below, but here is the map. And these were called the Spring Well Mound Group. And there was mounds spread up quite a ways up the river here. But here is that main mound, the area I showed you, the Lord. But what I'm learning about ancient America, it wasn't white settlers who settled a lot of these towns in ancient America. There was an initial great mound, great earthen mound from the mound builders. And that was the initial structure a lot of these towns. I've talked about St. Louis, Pittsburgh, here's Detroit, Michigan. Now here's an article written a few years ago and I will leave the link below. It says, what is the oldest human man-made structure in Detroit? Many people would say it's the Charles Trowbridge residence or possibly the James Smith Longhouse. But couldn't you say it's the burial mound located on the grounds of the Detroit historic Fort Wayne? Human remains more than 1,000 years old were removed from the mound in the 1940s. But this earthwork of sand and topsoil may not fully be what it appears. And here is a look at the only remaining mound. This is called the Fort Wayne Mound near the old Fort Wayne site. But this is actually two mounds that were bulldozed together and it's the only trace of this ancient history left in this area today. It says the monument of Fort Wayne was not alone. Before the 19th century, it was only one of several burial mounds built on a large sand hill that used to lie just north of the confluence of the Detroit and the Rouge Rivers. The hill was about 300 yards wide, nearly three quarters of a mile long, and rose 20 feet above the shore. The French called this area Belle Fontaine because of the abundant freshwater springs that gushed from the side of the hill. The British called it Spring Wells. The name was retained by the Americans when the area was incorporated as the Spring Wells Township in 1818. At least three burial mounds were built on the sand hill at Spring Wells. Farthest to the southwest was the Fort Wayne Mound. On the northeast end was the Copper Works Mound, so-called because it was adjacent to a copper smelting operation. It says, northwest of the Great Sand Hill was Karsten's Mound, also called the Circular Mound. It says, southwest of the Sand Hill was a mysterious circular enclosure called the Spring Wells Earthwork. Near the north bank of the Rouge River, about one half mile from the shore of the Detroit River, was the Great Mound of River Rouge. Here's a diagram of a massive circular earthwork located where Detroit is located now today very near the mound site. This is just southwest of the mound site. And I am assuming it's on this, what is called Zug Island here. I think that is where it is located today. Today, obviously, would be much different than it did a couple thousand years ago.
tried to bury me. But they didn't know I was a seed. You can't bury a seed. A seed will always grow back. Grow back stronger. Grow back bigger. I dig in. I am determined to grow through the storms, through the mud. You can throw dirt at me. I won't stop. You can't bury me. I will always come back stronger. No matter what happens, I will rise. No matter the conditions, I rise. No matter the circumstances, I rise. They doubt me, I rise. They reject me, I rise. No matter what happens, I rise. No matter the conditions, I rise. No matter the circumstances, I rise. They doubt me, I rise. They reject me, I rise. No matter what happens, I will rise. rise.